What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the team, Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. So we're finally covering uh, the new Rebel Clash set. Also, we haven't ever, we didn't ever cover anything from the last set either. So we're back. Um, so we're going to start this week um, just playing five different decks that I think, first of all, that y'all voted on that you wanted to see. Um, whatever decks got the most hype, I picked those decks. And then also threw in, I think, two of decks I wanted to test out that I was a big fan of. Uh, so today, um, one deck that did win was Spirit Tomb Stunfist. Now, my friend Noel did send me his list. So huge shout out to Noel for sure <clears throat> for sending these. Now, what I'm going to do is he sent me two different lists. He sent me this one, the Spirit Tomb Stunfist, and he also sent me a Spirit Tomb Ultra Beast deck. And what I'm going to do is at the end of the video showcase that deck. I'm actually not going to play it, which is going to show it off. Uh, but if you don't know, we're playing Spirit Tomb with the Building Spite, and it has the ability once turn to turn before you attack, you may put one damage counter on this Pokemon, and it has the attack Anguish Cry. Now, if you've been following the Limitless uh, tournaments, you know that this deck did very, very well with ADP. But now, uh, so if you don't know, English Cry is just 10 and 30 more damage each damage counter on this Pokemon. So we have five damage counters on it. You do 160, and then you have cards to manipulate the math. Uh, but one card, I don't know if this is new or not. I don't know if set symbols or what sets came out. Um, we are playing Stunfisk with the Electric Chap. And this tag does 30 damage for each of your Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. So it does 30 damage for each of your Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. Uh, so that's great. So what we could do is you can hit for, um, what, 100 and... You got 6 to play, 180. All right? So each of your Pokemon has damage counters on it. What if, what if it was, like, amount of damage? That'd be busted. Uh, 30, the second is 10 damage to one, of your opponents, to one of your bench Pokemon. So what we're really doing is Electric Trap, right? We're having 6 Pokemon with damage counters on it, 180, and then you have cards like uh, Hustle Belt. I don't know. We could do Hustle Belt, right? If this Pokemon has, uh, this card is attached to it, it's 30 HP or less, uh, and has any damage counters on it, it's attached to 60 more damage, right? So you can use that... Um, I think that's all the kind of... Oh, and then, of course, Electric Powers. Duh. Uh, so during this turn, each of your lightning Pokemon do 30 more damage. So you could do, you know, 120 extra plus the 180 for 300. Right? I did the math right? Yeah, for 300, which can one-shot anything. And then you just take two knockouts, right? Because you're a single prize deck, right? You have a spirit, you have Stunfisk, single prize, and Spirit Tune, single prize. So that's your attackers right there. We have cards like Orin Groove for Primary Wisdom to manipulate the top card of our deck. Um, you can put a card on top and then you use like Research and then save the top card, of course. Uh, Jirachi for Consistency, Stellar Wishing, which is very nice. Uh, Garatina with the Dimension Breach. Uh, when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. And then now we have cards like Scoop Up Net uh, that will allow you to pick up one of your Pokemon that is not a V or GX and put it in your hand. You have to discard all cards attached to it, but you can reuse that Dimension Breach over and over again, which is fantastic. And we have cards like Jinx. And Jinx lets you once turn turn before you attack, you may move one damage counter from one of your Pokemon to another of your Pokemon. So you can start manipulating the math, make where everybody has one H one damage counter on it, and then you can take easy knockouts or with the Sunfist, right? So that's how we're gonna do the math. Also it can help with the anguish cry, uh, build the anguish cry up a lot faster. And then a Mewtwo for the mine report. Now the big thing here is right now Dragon Bolt is getting the most hype and it's weak to dark. So Spirit Tomb can easily knock that card out. So Electric Powers, we do more damage. We have Great Catcher, bring Pokemon to the uh, GX or EX um, from the bench to the active. We have Pokey Nav. Look at the top three cards of your deck. and reveal a Pokemon or energy card you find there and put it onto your hand. Put the other cards back in any order. Um, this can help with the Oran Guru. You can use Poke Nav into Oran Guru. Hit those special energies and you're good to go because this is only... Uh, oh, energy card. Yeah, yeah, great. So it can find these. Whoa, whoa. I thought it was like basic only, but no, it's any energy card. So that's really good by itself. And then, of course, you can use Oran Guru to hit it with Primate Wisdom. Uh, for Quick Ball, everybody is a, um, is a basic Pokemon, so we can find them. One reset stamp to punish your opponent. You could potentially put them down on one card and then take a knockout. Uh, scoop up to pick your Pokemon. Switch, so you can use multiple Jirachis. Get anybody at the axe spot. Tool Scrapper is back. Uh, choose up two tools uh, attach your opponent to your Pokemon, attach to Pokemon, and discard them. Um, mainly just Big Charm. That's something I can think of. It could help maybe against uh, Spell Tag. 
Uh, one chaotic swell, make it where they can't put a stadium card down. If they do, well, they can put one, but as soon as they do, it does get discarded. Uh, one boss order, a new card as well. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with are active. So this is the new set symbol, and this is not the new set symbol. I think uh, we'll go back we'll go back here in a second to Stunfisk, right? Uh, four Cynthia for consistency. We have four research for consistency. So eight draws, four cards, which is really, really good. Uh, two skateboard for that free retreat, even if they are asleep, uh, mainly just to Drachi. We have two Hustle Belts, so you do 60 more damage, which can help you take those big knockouts. Three Rainbow Energy, which is very good for this deck, because you only need one Dark Energy to get a knockout with Spirit Tomb. And four Twin Energy, and this is why the deck can work now. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon that isn't a Pokemon V or a GX, it provides two color synergies. If this card is attached to, to, a, to a Pokemon V or Pokemon GX, it only provides one colorless. So it makes it where you can use Electric Trap. So DCE is back, but for basics. So... And that's pretty nice. So we're gonna play. We're gonna save this deck. Hit save. Play Spear Two Stunfisk. I'm probably gonna misplay, and um, it is what it is. So <clears throat> no, we're not playing Italian today. That's for a different day. So Spear Tomb Stunfisk. Let's go. Let's play this deck and see what happens. So we're playing against Pokemon R M O R. Um, so the big thing here, thing about the notes aid is I don't know a lot of these new cards uh, from Rebel Clash, but I know what my cards do. So we won the coin flip. Yes, we would like to go first. On to our turn. We need to get multiple spirit tombs in play. Start using that building spite. Uh, so we do uh, have a very interesting hand right now. Um, we can quick ball to get one of the guys out. Opponent has three basic Pokemon. Uh, it is a Lost March deck. Uh, this is one of the decks I was actually contemplating playing. Uh, so we don't need the great catcher at all. Um, so we go ahead and grab Spear Tomb. We have multiple Stun Fist. Uh, this is good because it is weak to Lightning. But if we get attacked first, I think we have a really, really good shot at winning this. So we'll go Stellar Wish. Um, do we grab the Electric Power? I don't think it's needed. Uh, so we can just send the deck out, right? I think that's fine to grab. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and Hustle Belt. And we'll press Done. Okay. So not too much of an exciting turn for sure, right? But, um, yeah, if we start swinging before they do, we should have a chance of winning. So, Netball to find them a grass Pokemon. Uh, this is one of the decks I was testing. It, it did not win. Um, it seems cool on paper, but you just can't hit those big numbers um, against attack teams. I still am, like, highly playing this deck. So, this is a Trump Beak. Um, that's good because we already have a supporter card. If they do Mountain Pass into a supporter card, looks like they did not hit one. Nope. Just going to put Trump Beak in the Lost Zone. Sky Pillar. No bench Pokemon, Marnie. Gonna put my Cynthia bot on the deck. Okay. Which is fine. Uh, there's Twin, Jirachi, Stolt Scrapper. Uh, there's a Katsune, Nuzzly Gathering to find another Molga. Um, okay. This guy has Lost March, also has Evolution. Let's see, sure, check your deck for any card. Put it in your hand. There's another Molga. So they can scoop this up or Lost Blender and Molga and something else. So Jump Pluff and an Molga. All right. So they really don't need too many Pokemon in the Lost Zone. Like I said, it comes down to like who like whiffs right so that is the big thing here so on to our turn um we'll jirachi we'll building spite <clears throat> we'll stella wish um we're gonna go to skateboard i think so we'll skateboard the active send even new hand of six okay all right so we can Spear Tomb, Building Spite. We could use Mind Report, but thing, the scary thing about Mind Report now is he's got Trumbeak, so as soon as he sees that, he could get discarded. Um, let's Quick Ball the Electro Power to find Orn and Guru to try to help with consistency. So Orn and Guru. Um, let's Retreat into Jirachi. Stella Wish. Let's grab another Electro Power. I'm just trying to think of the thin cards on my deck because this deck's not going to play GX cards for sure. Um. Hmm. Let's go ahead and poke a nav. It's not what I want to see. So grab Giratina. We'll put. See, this is a scary thing. If we put research on top, they can, like, get rid of it. So we do this, and then what we're going to do is we're going to mine report. 
Oh no, we can uh, prime it wisdom to get it back. Yeah, there we go. That's how we do it. And then uh, we're pressed done. So we didn't get attack off, which is like the bad part about this. <clears throat> we only play three rainbows. Pokemon have to find me one. There's a jump love. So they find a skip loom. Skip loom lets him skip into the jump love, which can then knock out Jirachi most likely. We had a switch. Um, at any point, do we have twin energy? Plus, well, even then, uh, we, oh, yeah, we had a lightning weakness, so we could have done that. Okay, so he's gonna shuffle the hand, get five new card, four new cards. There's a research, Jirachi, Nuzzle Gathering. Do they find a grass energy? They also play low counts of uh, energy cards, but they do have the Whimsicott, which can find them energy. <clears throat> so, grass energy jump off. Okay. Alrighty, so this is like where the war starts, and they are going to take the first swing. Uh, Alright, so 100 damage coming down, and let's see what happens. This is the battle of the, uh, I guess, the non GXers, right? So put down Jirachi. We could. I think we research first, just dump the hand. Okay, let's Stella Wish for Pokenav. Okay, we can retreat Jirachi. Stella Wish again to thin the deck out even more. Uh, we'll grab Electro Power. All right. Well, if we scoop up net, can we use this guy again? No, we can't. Mm. Huh. Maybe we should have. No, we still can't do that. All right, so we'll poke a There's a twin energy. We'll put. Research and twin energy on top. Once again, okay, no, we can do the Oranguru trick. So we'll primate wisdom. Put a spirit tomb on top. Okay. We'll put down Stunfisk. Put down twin energy. Building spike. Building spike. Switch into Stunfisk. So this does 3, 6, 120. So yeah, well, we could. No. We can't. Maybe I should have been on the Chaos Wheel. Just to thin deck now, just in case he marries me. We'll go down to 5. There's a scoop of net. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. It's just come down to who can find their Pokemon first, right? Uh, first one takes six prize cards wins. So Lost Blender, okay. They haven't seen a Whimsicott yet. This card's... Uh, there's a Cottony, okay. There is the Twin Energy, so they can swing this turn. So Cottony coming up. <clears throat> we'll see a Nuzzle Gather and find another Mulga. Thin the deck out, okay. For nothing. Lost March for 140. Okay, all right. So go down to four. We'll sit up to Rachi. Okay. Let's put this down first. Let's still a wish. Um. We could switch scoop up. Retreat. You know, it's a lot to think about with scoop of nets now. Scoop of nets make everything interesting. So grab Cynthia. Well, Electro Power. Electro Power. Do I treat and Stella Wish or do I Cynthia first? I think I'm going to treat and Stella Wish. All right. Um, so we're not going to grab anything. I'm looking for a Pokenav. 
I've already retreated, so now that's a problem. Right? I retreated. So now it's like all kind of in. It's probably really risky. It's like, what if we whip the rainbow? Right? We just gotta believe. I think at this point we sycamore. Right? Yeah, because I don't want to whiff. Okay. So compared to the rainbow, <clears throat> hit the switch anyway. Um, will Orin Guru Primary Wisdom put a stun pistol on top of the deck? Hustle Belt. We'll put down Hustle Belt, sure. And we'll Angus Cry for Knockout. All right. So, we'll go down to four. 200 damage. <laughs> you can see why Spirit Tomb is so strong, right? Um, if this is a non GX deck, you blow up Dragon Bolt, you're looking really nice, right? Hmm. Alright, so we got Pokenav, which we might just save. We can just like Electropower, Rainbow, and just keep it that way. Because like I said, it's going to be up to my opponent to keep like consistently take a big knockout, or take a knockout, so, right? If they whiff, we're looking good. <coughs> so, like if they whiff a knockout here, we might have GG right there. So communication for a Skip Loom. Uh, there's a Hoplet, okay. Find them a skip loom. They didn't get a cottony out, which is nice, so they can't move Whimsicott. Uh, they have a Dianthia, Diantha. They can put that down to get a grass energy out of the discard pile. There's a skip loom. Now they already have one jump puff, two jump puff. Uh, they probably have more. Be pretty silly if they not have more. Yep, there's a jump puff coming down. Okay. Do they have a grass energy or supporter card? There's a grass energy going to the jump puff. Now they haven't played a supporter card in a minute, which doesn't mean they don't have one. It just means they haven't played one. There's a Great Ball. Okay. For Trumbeak. Trumbeak is, you know, it can get more Pokemon in the Lost Zone. Doesn't really matter right now, though. For sure, it does not matter. Uh, okay. There's a Jump Bluff. So they have one card. Mm. All right. Um, so instead of Drachi. We will, oh perfect, Stunfisk. Building Spite. Building Spite. You gotta make sure you don't actually knock these guys out too when I attach a rainbow. Uh, do we hold the Electric Powers? I don't think so, I think we just play them. Still a Wish. For an Escape Board. We'll put down a Escape Board. I think I'm just gonna retreat into spirit tomb keep the hand and just anguish cry um because we could double po we can like <laughs> cynthia the pokenab or hit, hit that or something we got multiple switches as well mogo coming up okay um we don't have a jinx which is what i wish the jirachi was so we can start moving the damage kind of around so lost blender oh this is it do they hit it or not oh man uh, this will find them a skip loom, but they would definitely miss an energy attachment this turn. So there's a grass energy coming down. That's good news for us. And that will probably... Oh, wait. No, they can take a knockout with the... Oh, busted. We, we fell into our own trap. That's cool. That's cool. I'm not even mad. Not even mad. Okay. We can still wish for a quick ball. We can scoop up Jirachi. Send up Jirachi. Still a wish. For. Let's go Cynthia. Jirachi. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's go Pokenav. There's a twin energy, and then we'll play the Stunfisk Nesk. Yeah, so we top deck a Stunfisk. Put a DCE here. 
we could quick ball, f or we can do this. We can primate wisdom, put a switch to get it, right? And then we can quick ball away a Cynthia. Oh, there's none in here. Interesting. Or the, uh, not that. The, um, what is it? The Jinx is prized. So grab the Jirachi, thin our deck down. We'll retreat into Stunfist. We'll go ahead and put the Stunfist down just in case they uh, Marnie me. And we will build in spite. Luckily, we can just take a single knockout for 60. All right. Let's go down to two. There's a Jinx. Okay, so the Jinx can help us start manipulate the damage for sure. But um we are pretty much almost out of attackers oh that is gonna be game <clears throat> yeah we'll put this here and was well, not knockout oh yeah it is because there's weakness So yeah, I forgot they have weakness. Forgot they have weakness. If they didn't have weakness, we wouldn't have taken the knockouts because we don't have any more electro powers in the deck. Marnie, oh man, late. Okay, so there's game number one. We'll play one more game with the deck and just see how that goes. New communication, okay, ditto. Cottony. Cottony comes down, twin energy. All right, they go to the one, um, but we have Spirit Tomb, and that will do sixty damage. <laughs> so Spirit Tomb, and build a spy, Electro Trap for knockout for sixty. All right, so gain of one came down. Let's play one more game with the deck and see how that goes. All right, a little risky. I'm not. I'm not good with the scoop of nets. Not going to lie. There's a very interesting card that I don't know how to play just yet. I don't know how to use this group of nets. So. Pie face 172. Okay. Let's see. Can we play against a, a, uh, a GX V Max V deck or not? That is the question. So we won the coin flip. Yes, we'll have to go first. On to our turn. Let's see what happens. So we start Jinx and Orin Guru. Hmm. Uh, we'll start Jinx. Just in case. We can... Um, Quick Ball, the Great Catcher for Spirit Tomb. Okay. Right. <clears throat> Spirit Tomb, Building Spike, Rainbow, um, Primate Wisdom, the Electro Power for a Hustle Belt. Now, it's weird now because you put down the hustle, they could play tool scrap right now. Mm. So we'll play just dumb right now. Okay. So we know the top card is going to be uh, fire. Okay. Um, Reshiram. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Okay. Dini. So they can't take a knockout. Oh, they, yeah, they can. They can discard. Well, no, this is only for a little. Uh, okay, never mind. It's discard a fire energy. I thought this was a uh, Thunder Mountain for a second. Sorry. They can't attack right now. Well, yeah, they can. They can now with this guy. If he gets with lightning energy in discard pile. I go right. Okay. This guy has free retreat, which is nice. Zapdos, Quick Ball, Lightning, Tapu Koko. Does he go Zapdos or does he go Reshiram? There's only one Lightning in the discard pile. Oh, there's two. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Lightning, Lightning. Zapdos, Thunder's Assault. It's not what you want to see turn two. For my poor Jinx. I need that card really bad. 
Hmm. So now I can't move the damage card around. Uh, okay, so three, ten. I need one more damage on this guy. I can hustle build it, so that's good. I can do this for this. To grab one of these. Put down Spirit Tomb. Put down Cynthia. Get a new hand of six. Jirachi. Building Spike. A Skateboard Switch to Jirachi. Um, let's Stella Wish. We'll hold the Pokenav. <clears throat> we will Primate Wisdom. Put Jirachi on top of the deck. That's not what we want to see. Huh. We will retreat into this spear tomb. Let's go to Pokenav. Put Stunfisk. And we'll put the Quick Ball on top of the deck. We'll put down Stunfisk. And we'll Anguish Cry for Knockout. Okay, 160. He would have to discard one with their Shram. Okay, there's a Scoop Up Net. Uh, which we can get rid of, well, probably nothing. Hmm. Uh, that, the Danny coming down. Okay, so can this guy take a knockout? Three, six, nine. Doesn't seem like it, that's unfortunate. It discards from your bench. Okay, bench Pokemon. So that's why he didn't tackle with it last turn. Another restaurant coming down. Okay. So we're going to do 270 to this guy. That is insane. I don't know if we can hit those numbers right now. Huh. Okay. So it goes down to four. We'll send up Jirachi on our turn. Well, quick ball Jirachi for another Spear Tomb. Spear Tomb, Building Spite, Building Spite. Now, I could Primate Wisdom either Scoop Up or the Electro Power. Three, six, nine. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I mean, I could just try to swing as much. So we're more likely to hit. Man. Let's go Primate Wisdom. Put the Electro Power back in the deck. That would save for a big knockout. Hit the other scoop up. That's terrible. Research. Okay, so we hit a twin energy. So let's still wish. For Pokenav. Okay. Hmm. I get Jirachi retreat and then switch into it. So let's do that. Let's retreat to Jirachi. Still a wish. Find a Cynthia for next turn. That way we have a supporter card. We'll switch into Stumpfisk. We'll do this. We've already done all those. Um, do we save the Lich Power and go for one huge knockout? I don't think we can, so I'm just going to Lich Power and just do as much damage as possible right now. And then we'll just Electric Trap for 3690. Okay, so 180. We might. Yeah, we can hit that next turn. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how this works. We'll find out. Do do do. How many? We have two rainbows left. Okay, there's another Reshi Rom coming down. Vitality Band doesn't really matter. Lightning to that guy. Does he have another welder to power up this guy? And then switch. That could be a really big deal right there. Nope. Just going to go for the Fabled Firebolts. Okay. So 118. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we got three spear tombs. Th 
Do I just put down the spear tomb and just hope for the best? Sure, why not? Let's building spite. Just building spite. Building spite. Okay. Um, okay. We can Cynthia first, or still a wish. Let's well, still a wish. Tool scrapper doesn't matter. Pokenav seems okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What in the heck? Yo, that was rough. Okay, we'll skateboard. We'll poke an app. Hmm, didn't hit anything. It's not good. We can send him a new hand of six. We can put down Chaotic Swell. Retreat to Draji. Stellar Wish again for a poke an app. Okay. Well, Oren grew the reset stamp. So, research. Okay, so I might just pass here, let him go down two, and then we try to keep prior cards, two knockouts. Right? I think it's the play. They knock out a Jirachi. We get stun fist DCE. Nine. It's only ninety three six nine twelve. Hmm. We might have to find a welder. Yeah, the Jinx being knocked down is like what hurt us? For sure. But we'll see. He's digging for a welder, I imagine. Or so fire degrees and attack with this guy. We can't really one shot this guy. Lightning at the top of Coco V. All right. Okay. We'll set up Jirachi on our turn. We can stamp up the two. We can building spike. Building spike. Building spike. So, 4-H was 130. Hmm. 5 to 15, 16. That's still not a knockout. So, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So, it's also not a knockout, but we can still bench the Stump Fisk. No, because it's only 60. So, let's go... Still a wish. Hustle belt. That's what we need there. Well, hustle belt. Stun fisk. So one twin energy has been played. <sighs> we will poke a nav. It's not what I wanted to see, but we can thin the deck down. Look at this. And yeah. Part of me just wants to do three, six, nine, twelve. So four, five. Okay, so I think we just research. We gotta dig for rainbow energy. Okay. Poganav. Oh, we don't have it. <laughs> That's gonna be game. Cause we don't find a rainbow energy. Do 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 do. Yeah, right. Hmm. 
Huh. Yeah, because I can go here. Primal was a Madrachi to hit the Electro Power, which doesn't do anything for us, unfortunately. Retreat to Stunfisk. And Electric Trap, which doesn't make a knockout. <sighs> okay. Hmm. We know Boss's Order is not on top of the deck, so that's upsetting. Okay, so they can do the Fire Energy. Flared Firebolts. Okay. So they go down to one. So if we can knock this guy out, we might have a chance, though. Uh, well, Spike draws knees and energy. Unless we tackle one of these guys. We put down Stunfisk. Still a wish. For scoop up net. So we just saw five out of our six cards. Okay. I can. Cynthia? Rainbow here. Building spite. Retreat to here. And that way we have 30 HP left. Well, English. Did I mean a knockout? Yeah, it's 369. Yeah, okay, so it's a knockout. So English card for knockout. <clears throat> okay. Take three price cards. Need a rainbow energy. And him to not have. So that guy doesn't take a knockout. He only has 20, unless he plays Electro Power. This doesn't. Yeah. Boss order. Okay, so that's good. Discarding boss order. How many boss orders has he played? Just the one. There's your Rish Realm. Okay. Marnie. There we go. Okay, we got the switch. That's not what we want to see. Light into the active. Did he hit the electric power? Does he play electric power? Who knows? If he swings, he could be scared of a hustle belt knockout boy. Okay. You say he's scared to swing, I think. We still don't have a guaranteed game next turn as of right now. Rest your arm coming down, okay. Alright, just 20. Draw some cards. On our turn. Scoop up now. So we can switch into Jirachi, Stellar Wish for boss order, 5, 10, 15, boss order, give me the Dadini, we'll scoop up net, this guy, send in this guy, and that will be a knockout. So, there we go. A little rough. A <laughs> little rough, Mr. Mime. Or the Jinx kid knocked out, but we did it. I thought we were going to lose, but we did it. Yay. Uh, the good thing is, like, like I said, they only take one price card a turn. So when you get two shot one of their GXs, you're looking good. Um, I don't know if they played a Electric Charger, but if they did, they would have had a game. So it, it is somewhat difficult to play this deck, at least in my eyes. It's not, like, straightforward, but it's still a lot of fun. Uh, but like I said... Noel did provide me with another list, and we will just look at that monster real quick. It is another really, really hard deck to play, in my eyes. But, we didn't play against the Dragapult. I still think you have a good shot against the Dragapult, just because I can hit for weakness with Spirit Tomb. Uh, yes, they can take multiple prize cards, though, so that is what you have to watch out with Horror, Energy, and then, like, Spell Tags, and, like, just their attack themselves. But this is Spirit Tomb Ultra Beast, right? So we have this, like... 
spirit tomb and then like you have different price kind of pokemon um you do have like crazier knockouts you still have the spirit tomb which is your main attacker we have like buzzwolf or sledgehammer if you have four price cards remaining you have to do 90 more damage you have a selfie on with the first gx you have the buzzwolf and Feramosa. or Feramosa and buzzwolf gx with a beast scheme uh, gx which does 50 damage if you take another if you take a knockout with this you take an extra price card yeah have still have the giratina for the energy uh still the jinx you have the Mewtwo, the Mew for the Bench Barrier, and the Psy Power. The three damage counters could be very crucial, maybe. Um, it could also just protect your Pokemon. Uh, Niheligo can use the Nightcap. If, you're, if you have a Zacklo 2 prize cards remaining, you can choose when your opponent Pokemon's attacks. Top of meaning with the Nature Wave, which could do 100 damage. If you have any Ultra Beast in play, um, Aurora Energy counts as any energy, but you have to discard a card. Uh, beast Energy makes your Beast Pokemon do an extra 30 damage. So your Fairy Muscle, your Fairy Muscle and Buzzwool uh, can do 80, which is pretty cool. Uh, Rainbows as well, uh, but you have seven else to your Psychic, uh, to your Dark Energies, which is pretty nice. Uh, so yeah, there is the other list as well. Noah said this one was probably better, but he wanted to see Stunfisk in action. So we played Stunfisk. We didn't get any cool Stunfisk knockouts. It's very hard to kind of do, but if you can get like four Spear Tombs. And a Jinx with the Stun Fisk. You're looking good. I uh, still got to learn to scoop up nets. This is my first time ever playing the deck. But I definitely want to show out. I think it does have a lot of potential. Do not get me wrong. I think it does have a lot of potential. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow for another Rebel Clash deck. Alrighty. Bye.